What's up, guys, and welcome to the Tim Sports Talk. And today we have some interesting news for our Washington football team. We just hired a new general manager, Matt Herney, the ex Carolina Panther general manager. When Ron Rivera was there, he did have he did get fired for a few years, so he was there until I believe 2012. Fired up until 2017, and then he was back in 2017 to continue until 2020, where he was just fired last month for a philosophical difference between him, Matt Rule, and owner of the Carolina Panthers, David Tapper, or Tepper. So, before I get into what I think about him, I'm really frustrated that we did not promote Kyle Smith. I think Kyle Smith should be the general manager of this team. He is amazing at evaluating talent. He's been so good. We've probably won the last three drafts, and he's been in charge of the last three drafts. I mean, the amount of picks that he's done, and he didn't even want Dwayne Haskins. That was stupid Bruce Allen and Dan Snyder. But outside of that, Montez Sweat traded back up to get him. I mean, you have Cole Holcomb. You have Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne. Uh, late round picks like Matt Ioannidis or Tim Settle, uh, Kelvin Harmon, the receiver, Jimmy Moreland, seventh round pick, Cam Curl, seventh round pick, leading rookies at the safety position this year. Uh, I mean, the list could go on. Terry McLaurin, Antonio Gibson, uh, all these people have put valuable time onto this team. They've actually played good, solid minutes for us and helped a lot of them helped this defense be number two this season in yards per and I believe like number two in pass as well. Like this team has been built from the draft. Apparently we have 28 people on our rookie contracts, which over a five year period is what over five draft picks per have made it on the team and continued to put up good minutes for us. Like a lot, some of them are special teamer, teamers like Kalik Hudson or Fabian Moreau or people like this, but still he has been so good at the draft. I mean, obviously, nobody hits 100%. So you have the Darius Geises. You have the Dwayne Haskins. Um, you have, like, some later rounders. Like, he, the offensive lineman he has gotten has not been fantastic uh, later in the draft. But, I mean, it's it happens. This guy has been awesome. And I'm afraid that we're going to let him go. Just like Sean McVay, Kyle Shanahan, Matt LaFleur. Like, these guys, Kevin O'Connell, the OC for the Rams right now. These guys that have had a lot of promise, these young guys that we have in our building, and instead of promoting within, we go to other sources and we end up losing out on great coaches. Like Sean McVay or Kyle Shanahan could be our coach right now. But we let RG3 run Kyle Shanahan out of town. Him and Mike Shanahan got ran out of town by RG3. Jay Gruden came in. We hired him. And then we had Sean McVay. And we let him get away. You know, like, it's just so, 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 so frustrating to watch these young, talented human beings that know how to coach or know how to build a team, and we let them walk out of the door. So, that being said, I am hoping this Matt Herney pick, which is not a terrible pick, okay? He's not the best GM ever, but he has built helped build two Super Bowl contending, contending teams. Obviously, the Cam Newton Panthers in 2015, he was a part of building that team. He uh, drafted Luke Keekley, Thomas Davis. He was also the guy that drafted Cam Newton, which was a no-brainer. I mean, it was the number one overall pick. But uh, And then back in the day, he helped put together the team with Jake DeLome, Stephen Davis. Uh, I don't remember all of them. Uh, Julius Peppers, like back in 2005, I believe, when they lost to the Patriots. So two teams he's taken to the Super Bowl. They end up losing in the Super Bowl both times. But... He's built some really good teams in the past. He's 65 years old. And I'm hoping they they basically looked at Kyle Smith and thought, you know what? He's just a little too young right now. But they talked to Kyle Smith and said, look, we're going to bring in this guy with a lot of experience. He's 65 years old. He's been in the league for 25, 30 years, been a GM for almost 20 years. He knows what he's doing in the GM circles. He has a lot of connections through the colleges, like through the scouts. He knows a lot of, lot of people. I'm hoping that he is being brought in to kind of groom Kyle Smith 
to then one day get the job maybe in four or five years when this guy's ready to retire. I mean, how late is this guy going to want to be a GM? He's already 65. Five years down the road, he'll be 70? I mean, that's pretty darn old to continue to want to work, especially in such a demanding job. I mean, general of a general manager of a football team is no joke. That's a very, very, very demanding job. So there, I'm holding out a little hope that this is a way to help groom Kyle Smith, but this definitely could be him getting pushed out the door. And then we don't have Kyle Smith anymore evaluating talent in this draft. And he's been so, so important in the draft process. I can't stress that enough. He is so, so important in that position. So I hope right now he's still the vice president of player personnel. He heads the scouting area of the college level, especially. So I'm hoping that he stays there for quite some time, but he's already been here 11 years. That's a lot of experience. I hope somebody doesn't come and try to take him from us, grab him up and move them as their GM because the dude knows what he's doing. And that is my thoughts. Uh, Matt Herney can be interesting. I'm not even like necessarily irritated at him. It's more of the situation that he has been put in that he is overtaking a guy that we could have promoted within. So that's how I feel about it. Thank you guys for sticking around to the end. Please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Go in the comments. Let me know if you agree, disagree. If you just want to say hi, go down there. Also, in the description, there's a Discord link. Hop in our Discord. Talk some football. And there are also donation links. If you feel so kind, you could donate to the channel and help this channel grow. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. And until next time, see ya!